Now then, settle girls, because we're in for a treat. I am really pleased to say that Alex Cameling, big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank he you. is a, a what, do, it, what do you call yourself, Alex? A cocktail um, artist? I'm, or... I'm a, an ex-bartender, actually. Yes. I don't like the M word, the mixologist oh, word. Don't you? But no, I don't. It's, you know, it's, it's been used so much. What is that word? Mixologist. It's a fancy word for a cocktail <laughs> bartender. Mixologist. No, I think it's an isn't No, I don't like it because no, like it, it just implies I've been to university and studied mixology. Someone told me the other day that organology is about just going with your gut feeling. I'm like, oh, really? Organology. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I've hated it, but it's kind of. I'm a mummyologist. We're just stuck. Where's BB going? I'm getting the gum for my phone. Yes, stick the gum on. Hey, would you girls like a cocktail? Do you know I'd love a cocktail because I, I feel at the I'm moment at I do, it's just I love <laughs> no, this right. season. <laughs> Listen, you've made your own drink, I have, which is called yes, Camerlings. Camerlings, Camerlings. Yeah, <laughs> I like to say I just put my name on the bottle. <laughs> uh, you know what? You're going to have to pass that over actually because that's right. the main ingredient in the cocktail. All right. What is it? <laughs> uh, it's, I'm pleased you asked. Shall um, we guess? I thought it was some form of malt. Well, it's actually something a little bit different. It's it's kind of I made it uh, to be similar to gin, but also similar to Campari and Pims. So something it's something completely different. Ginseng is the main ingredient. So, oh, it's, a, wow. so, so it's a ginseng spirit. Oh, I like that. Is ginseng um, not the stuff that kind of gives you a bit of a kick and a bit yes, of a yes. boost? Yes, it does all sorts of things. Actually. It's in some of those pills kick. that help you, kind of caffeine pills, isn't it? Yeah, it's in all sorts, but there's never really been a ginseng spirit before. So uh, yeah. it's taken me five years to develop the recipe. And I literally just launched it in the last two weeks. So I'm very wow. excited. Uh, that I, makes I, you a ginseng Can I say, ologist. I went to... Um, oh, let me hear the eyes. <laughs> we have such few toys to play with on radio. There's no real eyes. Those are just sound effects you just produced. Like. They're amazing. I'll, I'll just, yeah, I'll put it right up to the mic so you can hear every little uh, drop. Yes, I went in. to um, Alex's tasting session yesterday. Is it called a tasting? Testing, uh, we had a little tasting, 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 tasting session. Yeah, and it was fantastic. And But there was a summer drink. Everything, you, you're rude. Your brain is like a carry-on film. <laughs> so I'm just you euro trash. To, you're I trash. am pure euro trash. trash. But I'm I said to Alex, make as much noise as you can and he is really doing something. Pure theatre. No, I love it. It's fantastic. Tell me to shut up. No, no, don't, don't ever shut up. Can I take brilliant. a lemon for home? Would that be rude? If you say you yes. Want a lemon. <laughs> 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 you want a lemon? You've got to buy the milk. You've got to buy the milk. I'll save you one, baby. At the moment you say lemon, everyone listening, doesn't your mouth start to salivate? Oh, now it has. Okay, so let me just show you the drink that I just made you. If you ever say lemon, people throw up. Right, now. So in there. Is this your own? This is my cocktail, yeah, that I've created with the camelings. So it's. God. Very easy to make. I mean, I just literally just Very uh, easy made to drink, a yeah, Alex, crazy actually. drink as well. So camelings, lychee, <laughs> and grapefruit juice. Off the back of the That's head. it. So it's it's, it's it's camelings, lychee, and grapefruit juice. Right, but uh, well, you won't tell us what camelings is. Well, camelings is a new spirit. It's thirty three percent, so it's a little bit weaker than most spirits. Um, distilled in the same way as gin. With juniper, but, but ginseng is the main ingredient. So four types of ginseng, but there's all sorts of goodness in there. Goji berries, echinacea, ginkgo biloba. Uh, I'm going to wear that looking stuff in Yeah, there. healthy wow, stuff. Lots of healthy stuff. So this is what I love about cocktails, is it's not sugar. You know, well, I'm sure there is a bit of sugar. Well, there's a fair amount of sugar oh, in lychee, but... <laughs> but all that goodness, I'm going to end up looking 12 by is the it, end of Isn't it natural <laughs> sugar in lychee, though? Um... Or is I put manuka honey actually in this. Right. Um, so as far as kind of sugars go, it's better for you than you know white sugar. But uh, and it gives a good flavour as well. Oh, I have to try some of that. But the difference of having delicious. something like this, because like you know, I'm sure we've had many cocktails Ooh, wow. in our times that are real kind of sweety, nasty stuff mm. with cream and nasty. And then when you have something like this, and it's just really like oh, proper taste oh, and taste gorgeous. That is that's lovely. what I was saying. Because the drink you made just with the beautiful. whiskey was a real winter's night drink, mm. and these are all summer. That's what I was saying. Yeah, totally. we'll, really we'll, lovely we'll get summer. That in a minute, <laughs> but, um, I'm doing another one here, so I'm going to be shaking in a minute. So, oh, good. So, so, so far. We'll shut up when you do that. Can I just say I love your image because you look very preppy. Thank you very much. I'm just I actually, my, I left my jacket out there, my tweed jacket is outside. <laughs> I'm going to explain to everybody what Alex is wearing. Am I getting <laughs> drunk? I am getting drunk, and, and we haven't even had already. Already. I can't really drunk. Drunk. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Biggie was like ducking not? like a girl. No, well, just go, you know. <laughs> Are you still drinking it, Joe? You should yeah. actually be. I'll um, see him pour this out. Oh. What's that nifty little... Oh, it's like a sieve. A sieve on top of the... Uh, it's called a Hawthorne oh. strainer. It just stops with the ice from... A Hawthorne strainer. So you shake it with the ice and then it just stops with the ice coming in so you've just got the pure drink. So Nigel Hawthorne invented it, apparently. <laughs> Is that true, Alex? <laughs> That's not true, actually. Caligula. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh gosh, I must stop drinking this. I'm never going to get through <laughs> to the Midnight Society. Have some more, Pip. So I'm going to give this to Phoebe. This is the Thank precursor. You. So it's just grapefruit and elderflower mm. and camel. <laughs> You've got to drive. You be careful. Grapefruit, I, I, made, that, I made that yesterday, actually. Yeah. I'm not sure if you like so that you one. You can drink this. If you don't like that one, then I'll have that one. <laughs> you can, uh, are you driving? I love either this one. Of you two? I'm not driving. Phoebe, you, um, Pippa, you. Don't my you nose is the one that's just enjoying. I'm smelling. Oh my God, this is delicious. Talking about noses. Just sit in the corner. Have you ever served a cocktail to Tara Palmer? No, I've served quite a few celebrities, but not. Actually, I might have done. I might have done. I've done quite a lot of kind of shishi parties before in my time. What's the most um, intricate cocktail anyone's asked you for? Do people know what they're asking for, or do they leave it to you? Um, generally, I like to tell them what they're drinking. <laughs> That's the way it's like, this is the bar, and uh, what do you like, what don't you like, but this is a good cocktail for you. Yes. So I sort of like to come to them first as opposed to being asked. I'm like, yes. they've got a great drink, try this, it's pretty, you know, yes. special cocktail. Are you, are you kind of, are you at a bar? Do you work somewhere? Um, do you have I, your I, own No, actually, you know what, you? I haven't worked in bars for eight years, um, but I'm starting, I've done a few shifts uh, recently in 69 Colbert Row. Right. In Angel. Yeah. Which is a, a really cool little bar. It's only 25 people there, and it's just really nice to get back behind the bar. And yeah. it's, it's kind of frontline bartending, and it's, you know, I really love it. I so, yeah, I've been doing what, cocktails for so, years. So, what is the art of um, cocktail making? Is it because you've got to get the measures right? Which well, is it's, about, it's who, about balance. It's not really it's about. The, I mean, I, these cocktails, I was just pouring them, I wasn't actually measuring them. Right. Um, but I mean, I've done that before, obviously. But um, it's just about the balance. So, it's, you know, a cocktail shouldn't be too sweet, shouldn't be too sour, shouldn't be too dry or, or bitter. It should just be a little bit of everything. It needs to be nice and cold. Cold, needs to be well mixed. I mean, uh, you know, you're making cocktails all night. Such a skill. <laughs> every, every, you know, every, but can you have too many week. ingredients? Yeah. Absolutely, it's all about simplicity. Uh, all the best cocktails, if you think of margaritas and <coughs> yes. things, they're all two, three ingredients. Yes, exactly. You know? And you don't need all the paraphernalia. Mm. You don't need, like it actually gets quite hard to create a cocktail <laughs> with, you know, with any three ingredients, but it's the, um, yeah. You could, yeah, yeah. If, if you're serving you it in many. a coconut shell, it's yes. not too far, isn't it? Well, that's, <laughs> there's that's, a place. That's, well, there is a place in time for that, you know. <laughs> there's a place. Wrong with a pina colada. I used to hang up with someone who would have just one drink a night, but it would just be, it would be a cocktail, and then that would be it. You know, so everyone else has had, like, five. Yeah. Do you think um, cocktails... Can change the culture <laughs> of drinking in society. It's just ice I, I can hear. I love the sound of ice. <laughs> it's I just can keep on drinking. Paul like Gilbert's it. coming in. He's a top lawyer, um, and he likes a, a drink or two. Ooh, okay. He loves he loves cocktail bars in um, Brighton. He's uh, often to be found in a cocktail bar. <laughs> <laughs> Do come in. Paul, welcome. Yay! Have a seat wow. there. You're all going to have to leave when Penny Arcade comes in because she's quite raunchy and I want her all to myself. Oh. I'm actually, I'm getting tipsy behind this microphone, Paul. You know, back me up. I never drink, do I? You never drink. Oh, I'll give you a microphone. There you are. Do yeah, I? you never drink. That's absolutely right. So I'm, this is hitting the spot. Just try that. Let me introduce <coughs> Alex. Hello. To Paul Gilbert. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Good to how you doing? I'm making you a drink here, actually, Paul. Oh, put your fantastic. name on everything. I hope you like whiskey. One. Just start that one. <laughs> See, I've never had a whiskey cocktail. Well, this has just got a tiny little bit of uh, smoky oh. whiskey in it. Wow, that's, that's amazing. That's got a sort of extraordinary sort of aftertaste. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's kind of a slightly kind of herbal, slightly yeah. earthy, but Can quite citrusy. Yeah, it's got it's Does got me? ginseng. Well, it's, it's got it's forty five ingredients lower. actually. So, um, and it's a family secret. So I'm not actually gonna I'm not gonna tell you on air exactly That's what's in it. That's better that you've got superfood in that. Look at his face. <laughs> 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 Look at right. the day. Isn't it nice? This is you something can really a little taste bit, the honey as well, I could, can't uh, you? Do you like, like, like whiskey? <laughs> I do, yeah. It's got some, a little bit of uh, smoky whiskey in there from Isla. Um, it's different, it's kind of more of an after dinner. Oh my God, that's, that that's got the most amazing sort of bouquet, if that's yeah. the right way Mel, to describe it. Mel, please try and taste it. Paul's come in and said all the right things. Yeah. We, we <laughs> were just like, going on about Tara. Yeah, no, Paul has been working on a heavy case. Has he? So overworked. Look, try that now. Just try that. Every time Someone I see Paul, he's off on holiday wow. next day. You were up every time. Hello, Paul. That's Hello, Bibi. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? Take I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Take yeah. It. This is amazing. It's fantastic. This is that's, that's called the Grosvenor. Explain what you've really? got. Mel's just taking one of them away with him. Enjoy that now. Uh, is so... Penny Arcade here? Yes. All oh, right. Um, to explain what you're drinking. Um... This, uh, sorry, <laughs> you, say, you, you, honestly, you did explain that, and, and, no, it's and so it's uh, it's Camelings with Punta Mez, which is a, like a bit like a fortified wine, but slightly bitter, and then a, a little bit of Isla whiskey, just a tiny bit. And so the the smokiness of the whiskey really brings out the earthiness of the ginseng. Yeah, it does. Ginseng it? is the main ingredient in this. Uh, that's in this right. Spirit. Oh, that's I mean, extraordinary. Ayla, I'm just drinking it neat, actually. So cheers, no, everyone. Cheers, right, everyone. Right, right, right. You're say, settling in nicely. Yeah. Yeah. But I do love the place. I love the colour as well. I love the colour of it. Oh, you know what I'm thinking. You know, colour is saffron. Yeah, the smell is, is amazing. Um, what would go with